Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick run through on some seismic activity. Vanuatu had a large earthquake in which a tsunami threat was issued and then canceled. Vanuatu is part of the Ring of Fire, a zone of tectonic activity around the Pacific that is subject to frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. We all know that, right? A series of tremors have been recorded in the region this month, including a 6.9 magnitude one. A 7.0 magnitude earthquake hit the Pacific nation of Vanuatu early on Friday. And then over here we have Mahoning earthquake count up to five. This is in Pennsylvania and they've been low magnitude, but again, you know, that's five, kind of swarmy. And then over here we have huge tremors as earthquake hit Southwest France. They had a 5.2. It was uh, strongly felt. It didn't last long, but it was quite strong, and I was scared. And then here we go at the USGS, and we can see as we pull out the earthquakes that have been going on. You have one here that was a 6.6, .6, which is rather large. And then if we come down here, you'll notice it comes across where the large one in Vanuatu. So, kind of interesting how, I don't know, it's just my kind of, my friend's theory. It's kind of interesting. And then this is just about being prepared because really, in the end, you just need to be prepared and not some crazy prepper, survival, dig a hole, climb in, hide in the desert. But this is my home country. Lake Tahoe in California is overdue for a large earthquake. So a large fault line runs along the eastern shore of Lake Tahoe along the California-Nevada line, and a magnitude 7 earthquake is expected to occur every 30 years in the region. There were seven magnitude 6.5 or larger earthquakes near Lake Tahoe from 1915 to 1954. Since then, there have been none. So seismologists expect Reno and Lake Tahoe to eventually experience a deadly earthquake. This is an opportunity to scare you a little bit. Eh, it works a little bit. So again, it's about being prepared for these things because nobody knows when they're going to happen. So everybody should always be prepared for any kind of a natural disaster, man-made disaster. Have water. Have some food that you don't have to cook. Know where to turn off your gas. Know, you know, have some flashlights. Have a... Uh, medicines that you might need and just you know some cash maybe stashed away <laughs> unless it's an economic collapse and <laughs> we're all screwed anyways but this is just a little heads up there's been a lot of seismic activity these are you know everywhere where you'll see and ba -ba 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 -ba. anyway so just remember be like the boy scouts i guess we all should be a little like the boy scouts and be prepared because you never know